Okay then. Hi again. My name is Dr. August Dunning and more videos stuff on dry fasting. I thought in, uh, instead of talking about dry fasting, I'd talk about what do you do in between dry fast. You know, I talk about it in my book, Neogenesis, that talks about how to exercise properly, how to eat properly, what to avoid, and uh, what to concentrate on. And that's fine. But this video is more about the senolytics. You know, when I wrote the book, The Phoenix Protocol, I found out that there are a couple of things going on that you can actually keep the benefits of the fast going on if you take specific types of senolytics. These are compounds that uh, are anti-aging, promoting. Uh, the two I take every day is Fizitin and Resveratrol. Fizitin 500 milligrams, because you need a therapeutic dose, and Resveratrol 1000. I take two of those to get 1000 milligrams of uh, transresveratrol. You know, the reason I do this is because, you know, you don't have to do it if you just want to fast and get well and get healthier. That's fine. But if you really want life extension, you got to work on the problem all year long because all year long you're making senescent cells. All year long you're trying to fix damage that requires NAD. All year long you're trying to deal with the somatic paradox, which is your somatic cells falling apart and eventually not able to reproduce and turning senescent. And what uh, Fisitin does is it has multiple pathways into the cells to check them out. You know, if, <laughs> if the cell's going bad but can be repaired, it'll signal the part proteins to go in there and fix them, genetic damage or histone damage, that sort of stuff. But if it can't be fixed, you don't want these cells pumping out all these interleukins that cause damage to surrounding cells and visit and gets rid of them. Fisitin is a gritty, really great compound. It's one of those huge discoveries in longevity. Resveratrol is really interesting too. Because when you take resveratrol, it conjugates. Some goes right into the bloodstream, and that's great. Some of it conjugates to neutralize it. So it's for elimination, it goes into the bowel. Bacteria in the bowel produce enzymes that break the bond and releases free resveratrol in your bowel for your enterocytes, which th helps them. Because what resveratrol does is, although it was suspected that resveratrol turns on CERT1, it doesn't. What resveratrol does is it sits inside of CERT1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., 6, 7, and activates the synthesis of NAD on the CERT2 one which it needs to activate to do its work to fix cells, acetylate, deacetylate, repair damage, activate PARP until the base enzyme repairs to come in <laughs> and fix you. Boy, that was a good one. <laughs> and that's what it does. It's designed to fix you. So if you want to improve the NAD output that you have as you age, and although dry fasting does that, it upregulates NAD, you can't dry fast all year long. You know, you can dry fast for an extended period of time to lose some significant weight, but dry fasting is something you want to do sparingly because you don't want to activate your stem cells all that often. They are there for emergencies. So I take the senolytics during the year because it gives me many of the benefits that dry fasting does. Dry fasting kills senescent cells. These are damaged cells that aren't providing energy, energy to the body. And uh, it'd be nice to get rid of them. Well, physicin does that. Dry fasting does that. But if you can't dry fast, take the physicin. You know, physicin, the one I got, is very, very pure, very high quality because it's the one I take. Same thing with resveratrol 1000. This is the one I take. You can get it for cheaper and all that stuff, but you know, these are third party tested and quality is high and the effects are obvious. So that's kind of what I do during the year. You know, I exercise, you know, four to five times a week. 
I do the three-minute workout, and I talk about neogenesis. <laughs> because that's if you just lift weight to where you can't almost lift it, you're hitting the triggers. You're hitting the triggers for muscle growth. And you're hitting the triggers to release osteocalcin from bone on the, under the stress, which then works in all sorts of organs and systems in the body. So yeah, diet and exercise will take you pretty far. Dry fasting will take you farther. And in my new book, A Philosophy of Time Travel, I teach you some new tricks that'll take you <laughs> who knows how far. Because it identifies what I think may be the cause of aging. So get the books. If you've never dry fasted before, get the dry fasting book, The Phoenix Protocol. Phoenix Protocol for rapid healing and radical life extension because that's what it does. And learn how to do it safely. Learn how to do it with all the tricks and stuff to get through the dry fast because there's a lot of helpful hints in there. But during the year, you can still get many of the benefits from dry fasting by just taking Pizzitin and Resveratrol. Senolytics that work. Anyway, that's kind of the message today. You know, you can kind of keep all the benefits coming in with the senolytic compounds. And I am loving this empty beach. Anyway, that's it for today. Hit the like button, hit subscribe. Check out the other videos down below on the channel. And uh, I post regularly. And I always bring up some interesting topic about what you might want to think about as far as health, longevity, fasting, working out, all that kind of stuff. This channel is to help you live longer, help you live healthier in mind and body. Think it and it will be. Love you guys. Have a great day. See ya.